Hello, welcome back. I have a hair in my mouth. I have a fall, no, why, why? I think it's because I just looked at a fall candle. I have an empties video of August. This month went by extremely fast because school started back up, which means my job started back up, which means it's been crazy. So I'm hoping September will feel like it's slowing down a little bit more. Nothing too exciting happened in August. At least no updates for you that I can think of. So we'll get straight into the empties. The first thing that I have is this pumpkin pecan waffle candle. I don't know why my thoughts are coming in so slowly and scattered. This smells so good. I am a fan of these. Anthony does not like these bakery scents, which just breaks my little heart. But I buy them anyways because I'm the one that goes to Bath and Body Works and buys all the stuff. So my opinion is valued most when it comes to what I buy, right? Does that make sense? So sometimes I'll throw in something he likes, like he loves mahogany teak wood, which I just feel like it gives me a headache. And it reminds me of when I used to work at Abercrombie and Hollister, which not that that was a bad memory. It's just, I don't know. It just reminds me of work. So I just want to come home to a house that smells like fresh baked cookies. Although on the other end, I feel like that makes me crave sugar more. So maybe I should go on the other route and get the less bakery scents. I'm going on a tangent now. The next thing I have is a wallflower plug-in. Usually I'm really good at knowing what these are. I wonder if this is, I had like some fresh scents that I had plugged in, but I can't remember what, it doesn't smell good anymore. So, and it was yellow. I'm not sure guys. I'm gonna go undecided on this one. Usually I'm pretty good at this. Anyways, I always have plugins. I think at the moment I, what am I burning? I don't know, I'll have to get back with you. I think on the next ones that are empties, I'll actually know what they are. I just bought one, a cinnamon spice chai or cinnamon spice vanilla plugin in my office at work and it is strong. I almost wish that I didn't buy that now just because I, probably like an eight foot by or 10 by 10 type office. It's like, it's not really small, but it's not big. So probably one plug in was a little too much. I can, I wonder if I should just buy one of those car scents. That would probably be better. Anyways, I have more Bath and Body Works. This is the Blueberry Crumble hand soap. And I also have the Rose Water and Ivy hand soap. And then lastly, and so flies. I have the Georgia peach. I love all their peach scents. And that was all the soap I went through this month. But again, that was a lot of soap per usual. Next, I went through some L'Oreal hair care, the Extraordinary Clay shampoo and conditioner. I went through them in the same month, which usually does not happen. This is a go-to for me. I already have a new set in my shower. And I went through a Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials deodorant. I still sweat with this. I'm ongoing. I just, I can't find a good deodorant for me, but this is what I've been using. And at least I don't smell bad. It's just, it's moist. It just gets a little wet. And then hair care, another one. I have Amika Nourishing Mask. I am pretty positive this broke me out. Like I didn't break out. Normally like with new hair care products, like I will like fully have a whole breakout session where I'll get like 50 plus pimples. And I'm like, Phew, gotta stop that. This is more so like a smaller breakout, but still I knew it was from this. So I will not repurchase it, but it was a pretty good mask. Like it made my hair soft. Wait, another, is this, no, this is the same wallflower. I'm almost thinking it's like cotton and linen. I went through a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen SPF 70. So good, love this stuff so much, did not break me out. I get very lobster-like in the summer, like real burnt. It turns into a small tan, but I will get sun poisoning a lot. And this, I did not get burnt once. 
my words aren't coming up. I did not get burned once this summer and I went to the pool a lot. So I fully, fully recommend this. And it gave you a nice glow and sheen. Although be careful getting it on your clothes. Not that like it stained it, but I just feel like that greasiness, like if you had on like a silky top, this would not be good. Two skincare products and then I have a very small PR section. This is Clean and Clear Essentials, the foaming facial cleanser. This is like my favorite thing to get makeup off. It works so well. I will forever love it. And then I also have the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleansing Astringent. Is that how you say that word? It's how I say it. I can't think of any other way to say it, but correct me if I'm wrong. This is really good as a toner on acne prone skin, but it will dry you out. So I have very oily skin. I can get away probably with putting a little more of intense products on my skin, even though I do have sensitive skin. Um, it was really good wearing throughout the day and summers when I didn't have makeup on, I would just wipe it on if I was feeling greasy. I like it, I don't love it. It is a little harsh. I probably would go for something a little calmer, but at the same time, I feel like it did help my acne. So I suggest it if you don't have super sensitive skin. Okay, um, oh, Oliver's here to say hi. Yours is the sweetest little baby. I love him so much. Chester, come say hello to your fans. I feel like he hasn't been making appearances in videos anymore and I don't want you to think that I don't love him anymore. I love him less because he is still why my words? He's still just like the funniest little creature. I love both of them so much. That's why my office is just covered in cat photos. They make my day. I've not tried this yet. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, I was just gonna say is I found that from them and it helped my skin so much. So I'm really excited to try these. But again, I have not tried it yet. I like to update you after I use them, after I'd like try it out for a little bit to give you a full like rundown. Like, did this break me out? Did this like help my skin at all? Um, the first thing is avocado melt retinol sleeping mask. So this is a mask for the night times and it has retinol in it, which I don't, I'm not used to products with that in it. I know that's an anti-aging product. I probably should be using it on my skin because I am pushing 30. Let's see how many more months, like mm, one, two, three, four, five, oh, almost there, half a year. Half a year away, you guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I should do something for my 30th birthday. I just haven't figured out what yet. Packaging is always so freaking adorable. There's avocados on the inside of this and the bottle is green like an avocado. It looks really thick. So it makes sense why it's a night mask and not during the day. Let's see if I can read about this for you guys. This is gentle but potent. It's vegan and it's supposed to firm your skin. It helps smooth acne and inflamed skin, which is mine. I get red, I get acne. It gently exfoliates somehow. Uh, it has retinol to reduce hyper hyperpigmentation. I cannot talk. <laughs> Resurfaces smooth, radiant skin. It also has matcha, cognac, what is that? Chamomile and ginger to revitalize stressed out, tired skin. I am a stressed out and tired one. <laughs> I'll have to try this. A uh, dermatologist tested. Great, great, great. And then there's also the eye sleeping mask. So excited about this one because I am about four pumps away from being out of my current eye mask, which I just got from my Ipsy Plus bag a couple months ago uh, that stuff ran out so quickly so this is gentle but potent um, again vegan and it's supposed to treat dark circles and milia <gasps> I have okay I have milia and it, milia milia mil, milia I I don't even know how to say that it's those little bumps underneath your eyes I have it actually pretty bad but it's like something I really don't care about if that makes sense it's like one of those things that I feel like people really aren't staring at your eyes close enough to tell that you have bumps under them. I never get that close to someone, so I've never really bothered with it to go to the dermatologist because they can cut them off and like open them up and drain them. And again, just never sounded like something I wanted to do. But uh, I also haven't ever seen a product like specifically to treat them. So 
if this works, it will be a holy grail, that's for sure. Um, there is two forms of hyaluronic acid in it. It's supposed to deeply moisturize and also has antioxidants and coffee berry to awaken and protect them. Oh, I'm so excited about this now. I really hope it does get the bumps away because then I can give you a like practical product to take them away. Um, because I'm not, I'm not gonna go to the dermatologist just have them cut open. That sounds awful. <laughs> Anyways, these are the two products. I'm excited to try them. I'll let you guys know. I'm sure in a future empties how they worked out. I'm gonna head out because I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna be a good girl and work out today because this just really hasn't been my jam lately which is sad because I like working out. Anyways, love you so much, Chester, no. Naughty cats. Bye. Bye.